Hello, Andrew Reby here again to show off some of the new stuff in Cabinet Vision Solid 2012 Release 1. This time, we're going to go over some of the changes we made to the Assembly Wizard. I've gone ahead and gone to the Assembly Wizard from the splash screen of Cabinet Vision. Let's start this off with looking at a new option for the line boring spacing. We just need to expand the Operations item first, and then select the line boring item. Now we just need to click on the Edit Selected Part button to bring up the line boring options. Now I'm just going to skip through the wizard pages until we get to the one that I want to talk about. And here we go. In older versions of Cabinet Vision, when you specified that your assemblies had line boring, you had no control over the spacing. Now, you can set it up however you want. Here we have the most typical spacings based on 32 millimeter increments. But just in case you don't want it on a 32 millimeter increment, you can select the value item and specify the spacing you want in inches or millimeters. Now, let's get back to the wizard's main page to talk about some of the other changes. This next change can be found in the exterior case option set. Now let's go into the finished end options. Again, I'm just going to skip over the ones we don't need to look at right now. And here we get to our new finished end placement option. What we can do here is to specify where our finished ends sit in relation to our assembly object. If we select inside, then Cabinet Vision will place the finished ends inside the boundary of the object. If we select outside, then Cabinet Vision will do the opposite, placing the ends outside of the boundaries of the object. Let's go back to the main page now to continue on. This next change is in the reveal section of the exterior case option set, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. And I'm going to skip over all of these. And now we get to the reveal section that deals with our sliding doors. If you haven't seen the video about the new sliding doors functionality, I recommend doing so as it's a really cool new feature that we are really excited about here at Planet. Now, this wizard option allows us to specify the default number of sliding doors to have. Just put the most typical number of doors you expect to have here. Next we have the default overlap value. This represents the amount of overlap that alternating doors have, as shown in this image. Just enter the most typical overlap measurement that you expect to have. Finally, we get to specify the location of the leftmost door. What I mean by the leftmost door is this one, the door that is on the left side of the cabinet as it faces you. We can choose that the door be in the front or back. Let me select the other options so you can see the image change to reflect what Cabinet Vision will do. Now you can see that the leftmost door was moved to the rear. To continue on, we need to move up to the interior case options set, so let's go ahead and expand that out. Now that we have that expanded out, you can see the new divider part. Since this part is very similar to the partition part, and you shouldn't really need much explanation on it, I am going to just breeze through this section. Now that we have that out of the way, let's move up to our final new option in the face frame section. Here you thought I had it on face frame construction just because. Once again we have added a new set of part options to the wizard. This one is the frame options. Let's open them up to see what's in there. Okay, so we really didn't add a whole lot of options here, just one in fact, but it's an important one. This allows us to set the placement of our face frame, just like the finished ends we talked about earlier. Again, inside means that the frame is placed inside of the boundaries of the object, while outside means that it's outside of the boundaries. Let me select frame as outside so you can see how it will affect the dimensions. And now you can see that the dimension arrow stops just short of the frame. Thank you for taking the time to view this demonstration. If you would like more information on Cabinet Vision Solid, 
please feel free to visit the Cabinet Vision website at www.cabinetvision.com. For those of you viewing this video from eSupport, you can click on the hyperlink in this video to go there now.